The most brutal and graphic video ever has just surfaced on the internet. There is absolutely nothing that can top this one. What I'm about to say happened in this video is very shocking, but I'll tell you guys after the intro. Hey, how's it going LP Army? I'm so glad to be back. I came back from Dominican. If you want to see what I've been up to, click right here. This is the vlog channel. I've been vlogging for more than 445 days in a row without missing a day, but it's because of you guys. You guys keep me motivated. You show me so much love, so much support. I mean, how do I stop now? So if you guys want to check it out, click right here or the link will be in the description below. So let me start off asking you, what do you guys watch online? Let me know in the comment section below because your comments can be featured in a future video. So let's get right into this one. We're talking about a shocking video about ISIS. I mean, when is it ever not shocking when we're talking about ISIS? Well, this time they have done the unthinkable. There's a video of them shooting down 200 ISIS kids. They were told to just lay flat, faces down, and boom. I mean, it's very disturbing what's going on in Syria right now. And of course, it's very scary. The raw footage was obviously taken down quickly off of the internet. It was way too graphic and no one should ever have to see that. This is one of the biggest mass executions ever caught on film. And I'm not sure why they thought, you know, oh, let's pick up a camera and film the whole thing. Thing. ISIS is clearly insane, but please don't kill me. I mean, what did they get from killing innocent kids? And there's also been reports that potentially ISIS was responsible for taking down that Russian plane that crashed not too long ago. This has been all over the news. It's been investigated, and right now they can't figure out why this plane came down. The UK government responded by banning all flights that fly in the areas like Russia or Syria, and this is to protect the planes and the passengers on board. 224 people lost their lives on the Russian airline that crashed to the ground. This story is still developing. It's happening right now. When there's more information about it, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Okay, so on Survival, the reality TV show, there was a shocking elimination. Terry Dietz was a contestant on the show for the second time. This was a season of redemption. He was pulled off to the side by host Jeff Probst. Jeff told them that his son is in the hospital and his wife and doctors recommend that he quit the show, go to the hospital where his son Danny was. His son was in the ICU dying. He was in a need of a heart transplant plant right away. And this is after doctors found that he had a rare condition that caused his heart to be enlarged. This is a very emotional time on this show because he's going for one million dollars, but he stepped away for one million dollars to spend time with his son. He hasn't been on this show for 10 years, so this is like his second chance. Well, today Danny is doing good because he received a new heart. Terry said he thought, you know, this was the time for his second chance. But it wasn't his second chance, it was a second chance for his son. So walking off the show of Survivor, giving up one million dollars was worth it. And from there, we move on to a baby who was born four months premature. Jenny Drake was from Nashville, and she was 25 weeks pregnant when she went into labor. She was on the American Airlines flight, flying from Paris to North Carolina. It was a very scary moment because this is all happening in the plane. I mean, can you imagine being in that situation? But luckily, when they grounded, she was rushed to the hospital and she delivered to a healthy baby within four minutes of arriving to the hospital. Okay, some NBA news for you guys. The Golden State Warriors, at the time of this recording, is a perfect 8-0. I mean, is this real life right now? This is the best record in Golden State franchise history. And there's pretty much one guy who's dominating the NBA right now, and that's Stephen Curry. The best record the NBA was back in 1948 and that being Washington and they were 15 and 0 another team was the Houston Rockets they were also 15 and 0 and that was back in 1993 the most recent best record was the 14 and 0 Dallas team and that was just a couple years ago so for the Golden State Warriors to have the best start in NBA history I mean it's still a long shot but this team is looking like they can never lose a game 82 and 0 let's do it Finding Dory trailer has just been released and it looks really good this is a movie that I would go see. It comes out June 17th. And this is, of course, in 2016. <gasps> I remembered something. That's not possible, is it? Okay, is it like a picture in your head and then you think I've seen this before? I just used the word before, which means I I'm remembering something. Okay, so when you guys thought Ben Gate was over, well, the popular trend is back. And this is when a YouTube video shows a Google Nexus phone being bent pretty easily. Ben Gay became a popular trend when many people complained about their iPhones bending from just being in their pockets. The new Google phone is made completely out of aluminum and it's very thin, which is a design flaw of the company. Sad news for the world's tallest man who just passed away at the age of 26 years old. He measured a whopping 8 feet 8 inches tall. He suffered from several different illnesses related to his unusual rate of growth. Doctors even say that he never stopped growing. He was being treated in the hospital when his body just couldn't take it anymore and his body just gave out on him. 
This story got out and the locals donated money to the family, about $110,000. So the funeral yet hasn't been organized, but I wouldn't be surprised if this whole thing was televised or if it was filmed for a future documentary. There was another death, seven year old Asmi Polmer. She suffered from cardiac arrest in her school in Cornwall. She suffered from a rare lung condition that only affects one in 10 million people. Esme always complained about shortness of her breath and recently she's been losing a lot of weight. Well while at school she had a cardiac arrest. Medics were called and they tried to save her but it was no use. There was way too much pressure inside of her lungs. Rest in peace. My sincere condolences goes out to family, friends, and loved ones. I mean, she was way too young to go. Well, there you guys have it. That's all your news stories for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is so great to be back, and I'll see you guys tomorrow where we do this whole thing all over again. I cannot wait. So let me know what you guys think of this video, and I just had a beautiful time in Dominican. If you guys want to see those vlog videos, like I said, you guys can click right here or click in the description below. The link will be there for you guys watching it on your phones. I've been vlogging for over 440 days or something like that consecutively, but I have you guys to thank because you guys keep me motivated, you guys keep me going. If you guys enjoyed this video right here, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye.